Looks like junk, right? An old headband? Eh, it's not too old, it's brand new. Piece of cardboard? Half moon cardboard? This will become a fascinator. And what is that, you may ask? It's a tiny hat. A tiny little headband hat that ladies like to wear. And here it goes. And we have the glue gun. Yeah, I might as well let you know. Uh, we have just a basic craft glue gun from the dollar store. I'm leaning, I'm setting it on uh, my paint box so it doesn't have glue everywhere if I turn it on. The fascinator to be, the cardboard piece, and the hairband. Scissors, you can get them from the dollar store. Big ones are small, medium. Some beautiful fabric that I turned into a dress, but the silk frayed, as you can see on the zipper. So we're gonna use this for our material today. And I have these little pins as well. Little pins in there. Push pins, decorative nails. Okay, so here we go. So I cut the fabric cut the fabric into a little square and now I can do my placement under the other side I have this already sewn a little bit so when I put the gauze on or the organza if I have some I might have to buy some but that way it will be an extra little hanging piece I love the organza on the fascinators because it just gives it that elegance, that classic charm that we really saw in the 30s and 50s, 60s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Don't want to go forgetting decades there. But I'm going to do this up and I'll come back. So I used the glue gun. I plugged it in. You have the glue stick in there like so. And then we took the glue and, well, I took the glue <laughs> and I prepped. Did a string line of it and press the hairband down. Okay, so you're gonna keep holding it there. Just you want to get it really secure. It's gonna be can't see the glue, but it's gonna harden good. Now I'm gonna take the fabric and fold it over like so. So this fabric is a little bit extra on the end. It was a little bit bigger, so I'm going to fold it under, and then it will be... F so you see, this is what I have so far, and I just glue the extra fabric over onto the cardboard piece. It doesn't have to be fancy, because this part's going to be covered anyway. So then, I just take it and glue this side over, and shape it eff effectively how I wish. You can shape the fabric how you want, you can leave it more... Loose, it doesn't matter really because you're going to put gauze on it. Not gauze, it's a good gardanza. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it starts with the gardanza, I believe that's what it's called. Or tool or something that's, or lace, you could put lace on this. And you see how I'm just shaping it and then it's going to get glued down. So it's just like that. And voila! Looks like a little change purse on a hairband, but what it is, is a fascinator. And then I can put tool on it, and then you wear it on your head. So this is our final fascinator project. You can wear this in the front. Has the accents of lace, the tool, and the accent fabric on top. Turned out really well. And all it took was a headband, cardboard, glue gun, glue sticks, and fabric. And hands. Can't forget our beautiful hands that we've been blessed with. And I wish you happiness, joy, good things, and much love.